it's already been in the next one, yeah. Probably, huh? Yeah. Did you do changes? I haven't yet, yeah. Okay. He just, he just, he just, yeah, he just jacks his neck up like that, yeah. And then he dis he disconnects himself yeah. from his back and the thrunus. Instead of, you know, the neck really just extending a little bit, it's seeking, seeking the ham and then making a, and you can almost see at that braid right there, right in front of your saddle, you can see that kind of little hatchet mark where he, his neck drops right there, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, and that's also, you know, that, that's literally what they used to call that, that flaw in confirmation where that neck, then it's very hard to weave that neck uh, across those, you know, the, the trapezius muscles across the withers into the lower back. It has that chop. And that's yeah. what used to, literally, they call it a hatchet mark. It looks like someone just chopped the neck right there in front of the withers. And then those those kind of horses have a tendency to have that really high, steep, arching neck, and it's very easy to go Frisian on you, you know, and just you know raise that neck up and look at a high arch, but completely disconnect from the back. That's yeah. See, that's what you have to. You have to keep riding him uh, up to his up to that the back up up into the bridle up to the up to his head. Yeah, and then the tricky part is that was good not to get too low. Where then that's not the answer either. You know, you have to still keep it uphill, but then try to get him to seek your hand. Yeah, see, sometimes I, I, I think that we almost we could even push the trot even more if you wouldn't get nervous and to get it a little fancier. Yeah, yeah, I think like, yeah, then yeah, <laughs> big something, but I think sometimes that trot would be good to do, you know, keep practicing that little bigger step. You see how, you know, when they did that, those, that show, you know, there's no room in which to do anything forward. You know, they're in a coliseum or something on a piece of rubber, so the horses would go smaller, smaller, smaller. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't know, I really have no idea of well, what, what it is. Well, it's just huh? the same kind of thing, but they have to work in a really short space. In a small little place. Yeah. Like how small? Um, two-thirds of size of the three. Okay, yeah. And there can be big horses out there. Yeah. So, yeah. they're small, and they're yeah. going to stay together. So it's more for the looks of the group performing together than for how well the horse, or what the horse needs to do. Yes. It's 
become more correct. So and I'm very sure. often, you know, like in any time you're in one of those quadrilles, you're never moving your horse up to like its full potential. You're staying in the line. The point is, it's kind of a dinky trot usually, and yeah. you're just you're, the whole point is you just look symmetrical and and the the you know the cookie cutter uh, uh, image. You know that that's what you're creating. You're not trying to show off movement. Yeah. So that's how we start. Yeah. Yeah, again, too, sometimes those steps, the trot steps before that canter, they, they get really interesting to me. What? I see sometimes those steps before the canter, the trot, get really interesting to me. They, you know, they start to go out more, and he uses his back, and you just yeah. wonder, you know, I wonder how good we could make this horse move. If, you know, we really got the pulse in it and drove him forward, how much would it take to shoulder out, you know? Right. Like train him, you know, train him, in other words, train him extended trot, you know? But now, you, you, yeah, it would just yeah. probably make him really nervous, you know? But that, that would be the thing to do is to see, to train him to meet him, to see what, what, does, he, what does he do? Does he, how does he handle it? Does he just get really quick and rapid and snap the ground and like a sewing machine up front? Or does he start using his back? Does he really, can he, will he put the shoulder out and reach? Because I have a feeling that he would put the shoulder out and reach. But it would, yeah, I think it would take a while to get him to, yeah, to, to really open up like that. Try it, yeah.
think he knew Lord Gage died. But it certainly isn't, it isn't bad. There's nothing wrong. It's not bad at all. And he's not doing what you said he used to do, you know, just snapping around. 